One Star Rewind. All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of One Star Rewind, where we sit down with a business owner and talk about a one-star review that they received uh, today. We got Caleb here from 900 Degree Pizza. Uh, Caleb, this is awesome. The only thing I didn't have you do was bring pizza <laughs> that, we, that we could eat during this. I get that everywhere I go. Yeah. Why, why didn't you bring pizza? Oh my God, why didn't you bring pizza? That was a mistake. So n- next time, we'll do it next time. Um, well, Caleb, so before before we dive into the review, um, I always like to try to get to know you a little bit better, um, how the business got started. So if you wouldn't mind, kind of tell us about you and tell us about the business. Yeah, sure. So uh, my name's Caleb Duty. Uh, my brother and I started 900 Degrees in 2014, I believe. Cool. I had just got out of the oil field and uh, we started a food truck and we started a wood fired Neapolitan traditional food truck. And we. Oh, dang. Okay. Yeah, okay. Give me a year. When, what year was this? 2014. 2014. Really. Okay. So cool. food trucks were relatively new to Waco. Gotcha. Uh, it was, everybody thought we had a taco truck. Every, every food truck was just tacos. <laughs> tacos. You know, they didn't understand all these other options you could yeah, have. Yeah. And uh, wood fired pizza. There was no wood fired pizza places in Waco. So sure. we said, you know, this is a good way to try this out, see if it works, you yeah, know, yeah. and we can grow and change things in a trailer way easier than in a For storefront. Sure. Yeah. And we just, the right place at the right time with the right stuff by yeah. accident, yeah. Uh, got to be successful downtown and got invited to that, uh, the Magnolia silos in Waco. Gotcha. And uh, it's been just nonstop go, go, yeah. go since then. Now, did you buy the trailer pre-made or did you guys make it here in town or what? How'd <laughs> uh, that go? So I'm my family's designated redneck. I, uh, <laughs> I got a background in the oil field and, and, yeah. and working cattle and stuff. So, cool. uh, I knew I knew enough about trailers and and wiring and stuff that we bought a, cool. a regular cargo trailer with the food truck doors nice. and my brother and I did all the work to finish wow. out on the inside. That's incredible. Yeah. Nice. So that you still have just that one trailer but that's the one that sits at, Mag, at the food truck park. Well yeah, we have- we updated uh, the trailer. We switched from a, a traditional wood-fired oven because that okay. was a neat style of pizza but uh you know, Waco is not not ready for it out of a food truck yet. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, so we switched to a regular gas oven. Okay. That's easier to run. It's easier on my staff. It's easier to take somebody off the street, explain yeah. what we're trying to do as far as pizza, and get them yep. to work, you know, uh, without sure. teaching them how to build a fire, how to manage wood, you know, is, is it green wood, is it dried wood, you yeah. know. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Okay, cool. So you start you start with the food truck, but then you now have a brick-and-mortar location as well? Yes, yeah, so we started a brick-and-mortar uh 2018, I believe. Okay. Uh, down there at 315 University Parks. Great. Cool. And that's like primarily you're getting a lot of 35 traffic. Are you getting Baylor students? Is a little bit of both tourists, all of it? Uh, I would say it's pretty heavy on the the tourist stuff. The the traffic and the streets downtown right now are a um, mess. So yeah. uh, it's hard to get uh, regulars to go down there. Sure. You know, if, as soon as somebody who lives here in Waco has to battle that street once or twice, they're like, well, I'm never coming back down here. Yeah, yeah. Until they fix that. it. Totally, yeah. People going down one way, streets wrong yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah, it's like yeah. 2 o'clock in the morning in Waco uh, all day down here now. Yeah, yeah, all day, every day. Do, do you think, uh, so the announcement of like the stadium or the basketball arena going on the river and all that, I mean, that's like, you're like right smack dab in the middle of all that. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's definitely going to be a good spot once they, they – uh, yeah. Finish everything up. Yeah, you know? it'll be you know nine years later, but it'll yeah. get there. It'll get there. Um, well, well, great, Caleb. Well, thanks for telling us a little a little bit about you, uh, about the business, how y'all got started. Uh, let's just dive right in. Let's do it to the review. So now we are going to do what we like to call a little rewind. <laughs> All right. So this review, and we uh, we always say their name. I always say this. We're not trying to attack anybody. You could go look this review up. Anybody could um, if they want to. This is on Google. So this is by Gray McCowan. Uh, they left this review about 10 months ago. So not terribly long, but not super fresh either. Um, they actually have a picture there too. I, yeah, I know this is, is a real person. This is a real person, <laughs> yeah. Caleb. Like we didn't that make is, a robot man. They did We made a real person. They didn't because that is totally a thing. Half of the time it's just like the letter M, mm-hmm. and you're yeah. like, ah, is this a real? N A says yeah. this. Yeah, totally. So we got a real person here. They've left six reviews, so not a lot, but enough to say this isn't just that one timer. It wants to leave a one star. We didn't business. make them so mad that they started a Yelp or something That's just true. to leave a bad review. That's so. true. Totally. Totally. Okay. So we're going to dive in. We're just going to read it, and then we'll tackle it line by line. Okay. All right. All right. Gray said, took extremely long, comma, there was only one person, that's all caps, making the pizzas. There was a child screaming and crying. 
It took 26 minutes for our pizza to be done. When mod pizza takes three to four. Will not, again, all caps, be a return customer. The pizza was just average and wasn't even that good. Out. Out. End of review. Okay. All right, Gray. So let's just tackle the first kind of comma sections here. So took extremely long. Let's pause there for a second, Caleb. So in your, in the way that y'all do pizza and, you know, you you have a a history of making Mm -hmm. pizzas and your family, what is your... And there's probably not a right answer to this question, but what is that perfect time? Like if you're making a large pizza, you know, it, I mean, yeah, if, if pizza were to come out in, in 30 seconds, you would just assume that it's poor quality and it was oh my gosh. pre-done sitting on a shelf somewhere. No joke. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, 26 minutes is is unacceptable or people define extremely long. Uh, you know, that's an opinion. It's hard to tell. Is It is. Is it is it ten minutes? Is it twenty minutes? You said twenty six minutes, and I will. Yeah, I will agree. Gray, that yeah. is unacceptable. It is well, and, and you and you touched on the word extremely. So like, yeah. I, I we love looking at like adjectives whenever mm-hmm. we read these reviews, and you know whenever people are trying to express that emotion, they got to add that extra word in there. And she's like, eh, extremely. You know, and that's not like a short one, like very or super long, like. She's taking a moment there to write out extremely. It's a a $2 word. It's a $2 word right there. So, okay. So you're saying, because a a DiGiorno pizza, right? If I get one of those out in the store, that at least takes like eight minutes, right? Eight to 10 minutes. And I'm preheating the oven. It's all baking, you know? So the the bake time is what takes the long time. Yeah. Okay. So we did have a hard time there for for not having staff. I mean, people were. Sure. uh, This is, uh, it's 2022 right now. Yeah. So the. 10 months ago, we was kind of in the heat of, uh, the Rona and, oh, yeah. uh, people are just leaving, you know, getting, uh, unemployment or finding better employment somewhere else outside of food, mom and dad, you know, maybe mom's not going back to work or dad's not going back to work. So, uh, yeah, it was a ghost town down there for a while. Oh, no doubt. Were y'all doing like, uh, I mean, like everybody, right. You're doing the curbside and oh, doing yeah. the takeout and all that stuff. Our business model was not designed for carrying out pizzas or having sure. a, a whole person just yeah. Specifically toting pizzas in and out. We wanted sure. a place that was air conditioned, downtown Waco, yep. eat atmosphere, yep. sit down inside with friends and family. And yeah. that became illegal for a while. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> they would like come after you if you were doing that. Yeah. So. Okay. So she starts off, took extremely long. Okay. So she's, she's frustrated here. She's using adjectives, took extremely long. Um, the next part of this says there was only one person making pizzas. Okay. So I go to your chains, Domino's, Pizza Hut, blah, blah, blah. I walk in and I'm seeing like, you know, you have the people at the front counter, but you look in the back right or wherever, you got like somebody doing the toppings and you have another person that's like doing the dough. Like there may be three people back there and like maybe the, at their, the way they're working, it's like one and a half people. Yeah. It, it is, is one person like completely like out of the ordinary or do you usually oh, have it, five it, people or what is to, to run a store like that? You need at least three people. Okay. Uh, I mean, the person like my wife and I could run it on two people, but okay. that's cause you know, uh, we know everything and we can yeah. work without talking and we know what needs to be done and, and stuff sure. like that. But just, uh, having one person make pizzas and try to bake pizzas. I yeah. tell all my staff, you can't unburn a pizza. You can take a little longer to make a pizza, but once, sure. Throw it in the oven. You got to yeah. pay attention to it. Sure, it's like going to get your haircut. It's like once the hair is off, it's off. It's off. Um, now, if this is like a, and I'm just presuming here, days that are uh, have more people in the stores, like a Fridays and Saturdays. Am I am I off on that or uh, wrong? Uh, or? Friday, yeah, Fridays and Saturdays are are, are swarmed down there. Swarmed. We we try to have at least three people. Okay. On those days, but somebody sure. calls in, that's 33 percent of your staff. That you is. Know? No, that's true. It, it, but where I was getting at is like they don't have it. You know, and it, it doesn't say like what oh, day what this day happened. Was, yeah. yeah, so this could have been a. I mean, what are your hours? Are you closed on any days of the week? We're closed Sundays now. Closed Sundays now. So this could have been a Monday or a Tuesday. And and again, you know, as a people don't, and, and maybe Gray is a business owner. I'm not saying they aren't, or, or you know, maybe she is. But like sometimes people don't realize like, hey, this is a slower day. I'm going to not have as much staff here. Oh yeah, and then some Baylor event or something sure. happens in town, and yeah. you're you're uh, uh, you're holding the potato when the music stops. There you go. <laughs> You're holding that potato and you just got to be patient. So, okay. But they emphasize one person. So now they're, they're, they're sitting there and I, I try to always put myself in their shoe. They're sitting there, they're looking around. They're just like, why is this taking so long? Mm-hmm. They have one person here, blah, blah, blah. Um, so then they go to this next part, which I think is just hilarious. So they say there was a child screaming and crying. Okay. I don't think it's your child well, screaming I, I, and crying. We, I, I don't, I mean, like, it's just a, 
another customer. Yeah, it was not a new applicant or anything like that, uh, screaming and crying in the in the restaurant. I think stuff like that happens. We made somebody mad. Yeah. You know, it took them a while to get their food, or they might have been mad when they came in. So sure, sure. kids screaming and crying is going in the review because it also set them off, mm-hmm. you know, in a in a bad way. And stuff like that as a restaurateur, I'm supposed to be able to confront that, head it off the pass, you know, stop it before it becomes, sure. you know, online, before it becomes a one-star review. Yeah, before it gets on the review. Uh, but, you know, if, if somebody comes in and they're already upset, it's it's hard to, you know, make somebody happy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I, I think that just, it, you're, you're totally right. It's just adding to that experience. They were already frustrated. Had, this had nothing to do with the pizza taking long or short yeah, or whatever. It's just now there's a kid crying and they just have to put it in here and, yeah. and to like express I, their frustration. They made it on the, in the, moment. the somebody's kid made it somebody's on a review kid, online. <laughs> they're on One Star Rewind. Ha, have you had like go, going back in time and when you're working at the shop, you're at the front desk, I mean, have people come up and and i mean i'm sure this happens but like where they're complaining or they're saying this is happening that's happening what are you going to do oh so like, what are you going to do to fix it internet world that is the way to bring change at a restaurant yeah. if you go online I, I'll, i'm going to look through you know people's reviews and if they just leave one star reviews everywhere they go i'm going to blow it off yeah you know? for sure but if you come up to me and say hey your bathrooms are dirty yeah. i will send somebody immediately to go clean sure. them if you said hey uh that kid is screaming and crying you know and if i have people i will go mm-hmm. try to make uh, peace, you know, yeah. but waiting till you go home yeah. to get online, to write yeah. a review is, I wasn't, you didn't give me a chance. Yeah, you know? for sure. Uh, yeah. If we have the staff, that is, is something we try to do is yeah. you know, take care of people. Yeah. Well, and you're totally spot on because this, and I'm assuming I'm reading this over real quick. I, I'm, well, maybe it wasn't a takeout. It could have been someone eating there, but even either or option, like you could have gone up to somebody to say, this took forever. Or like, I'm unhappy. Mm-hmm. This kid's crying, you know? Yeah. And, and, but yet they didn't. They waited until later. To they waited. This. There might have been not been enough staff to go to complain to. So <laughs> I mean, you only got one person. You the one person's working. <laughs> yeah. You can't stop him from making pizzas. To That's true. Hey, can you go over here real quick? I want yeah. to talk to you. On top of your busy day. Oh, some more. Oh my gosh. Okay. So child. Okay. So kids screaming and crying. And then this is where they mentioned how long it took. So 26 minutes for our pizza to be done. So I, I knew you alluded to this a little bit. 20, 10 to 15 minutes seems completely normal to me. If I'm waiting 15 minutes for a pizza to get done, especially like a fresh pizza at a play, at a pizza place, I don't even think twice, yeah. right? 26, I mean, I guess that's long. It still feels within the realm of like, they're if, making me a fresh pizza. Yeah, if if they know. had put in their order, I mean, I wasn't there for this one, Gray, but uh, if if you have placed your order, and then they were making it, that's kind of our style. Is is, is mm-hmm. back then we would make it as you go. Okay. So there was nowhere else for the pizza to go besides in the oven. Sure. I mean, you can't put a pizza in the oven for twenty six minutes and yeah. it come out edible. Sure. You know, yeah, it yeah. would come out like a hockey puck. <laughs> uh, sure. So uh, there might be some confusion there. There might have been a, yeah. a remake or something. We might have dropped it or burned it or something. Uh, that, okay. When that happens, we uh, we really screwed the pooch because sure. it takes seven minutes to bake a pizza. Okay. Now it's going to be 14 minutes for that person to get their pizza. Yeah. And that could be an eternity when sure. you're hungry. Do you, do you time from like when order is taken to when pizza is given to customer, how long that process is supposed to take? Uh, from the time they order to from the time like, they get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we strive to make people wait in line. Okay. I know that sounds crazy, but I would rather people walk out the door sure. not having ordered yeah. because uh, they were waiting to pl- place their order mm-hmm. than to ever put in an order, sit down at a table, and just wonder where your food is. Yeah. So from the time you order to the time you get your food, it's supposed to be about 12 minutes. 12 minutes. Okay. That's yeah. actually, that's pretty good. That's good. I mean, we, I we try to stay... Uh, ahead of the game now. I mean, we've, we've changed all that stuff. So where they're, sure. they're anticipating orders and they're getting pizzas in faster so that they can bake, you know, that's the longest process we have. Sure. Sure. Does like the amount of toppings change baking time? Yeah. The, yeah. the really wet vegetable toppings and stuff will, uh, would just take a longer time to cook. Cause they're just covered in water. Oh, see, I would have thought it'd be like the meat that would take longer. It's really the wet vegetables. Yeah. I mean, when you have like a mushroom, bell pepper, black olive, jalapeno, you know, the, yeah. Uh, stuff like that. It's uh, it's like a stew. You got like a soup. Sure. Okay. Can I totally digress for a second off of this review? So, do people ask and like those New York places or like the ninety nine cent pizza by the slice or blah blah blah? I I probably get that. Not that's not the most asked business I get asked. Like, oh, you need to start this. I get that a lot though, and right. I and I imagine 
I'm doing assuming like a late night slice place. Late or something? night slice place. I mean, yeah. do you get that? Do you think there's I, there's there will be business for it uh, when I think the construction is done downtown because there's sure. that bar right behind us, Putters, and they oh yeah they Putters. kill it over there. It's yeah. a great place. They're always super busy. We we have the pedal tours. The bike always drives over yeah. there to yeah. Putters and stuff. That's always always super busy. Yeah. Okay. So I I've thought about it. it we close it at nine right now because it, it, the downtown kind of just that part dries up until the you know, 11, 12 o'clock kind of going out to the bar, people show up. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, there was a time. I mean, we used to, back in like 2017, early 2017, it was like no, it was like nobody down here. Like it, it, I would I would plead to, with places to stay to go a fast food joint to yeah, get something totally. to eat. Totally, McDonald's and Wendy's and mm-hmm. all that stuff. So, okay, well, I just digress. I was curious. I, I love a good pizza by the slice place. So <laughs> I was like wondering if you get that. Um, okay, so 26 minutes. You know, it's not 25. It's not 30 minutes. She's 26 pretty minutes. Exact. So we're pretty exact there. Um, and then this is, this is. I want your take on this next part. So they say it took 26 minutes for our pizza to be done. When Mod Pizza takes three to four minutes. She's a spy. She's a spy. So Mod Pizza. We're not, I don't even know much about their business model. I know they're another pizza place. Mm-hmm. Um, but three to four minutes is that? That seems too quick yeah, for you, a pizza to be done. Mod pizza, in my opinion, is 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 too heavy on the speed. I don't know. It's a corporate type pizza place, so yeah, they have sure. a good model. I mean, they they have a the right idea as far as taking care of their staff and stuff. But sure, uh, sure. I guess they got too many bad reviews about taking too long, <laughs> so they just they throw them in the oven, <laughs> turn it on uh, uh, ludicrous speed, ludicrous and go <laughs> ludicrous speed, and they just get it done three to four minutes. Yeah. I, I, this is actually the first. I have to think back, and I, if I'm wrong, I apologize. But the first time we've we've been doing this podcast, where they have like thrown in another business, <laughs> like to say, "Well, this took long, but this place is better." Mm-hmm. Like that's always feels like a you're like like you said a plug, but yeah. they just could be picking a place. But I find it fascinating that it wasn't like Pizza Hut or Domino's or Little Caesar, you know, some Something of these like, like big big chains. It's like oh, Mod Pizza, you know, and they're not even really close to where you're at. They're kind of on another side of the downtown-ish yeah, area yeah, uh, by 35. but Near the interstate, kind of in that interstate yeah. travel and food. And I think that's their model is they're trying to bring, you know, pizza to the fast food world where they can have it done. And, <clears throat> yeah. you know, and, and they throw them in an oven. I've been there before. So sure. uh, they just, they're, they're, in my opinion, they're, they're, they're built around speed, not yeah, quality. Yeah. Wasn't there that other one over there too that's now closed? It was Pi Five. Was that's downtown. the one by uh, by like CVS? Yeah, stuff. behind yeah. and stuff. Yeah, that. I mean, uh, similar model, probably something. Similar like model. That. They used a conveyor oven, which in mm-hmm. my mind, I think the pizza world is going back to easier to manage ovens than these deck ovens and stuff that we all went to during sure. the. I don't know what I would call it—the artisan phase, where okay. everybody was trying to get yeah. unique and special foods. Uh, yeah. Done in an old timey way, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was uh, my my wife and I. We our our honeymoon. We were going to go to Italy, oh, and we cool. and we got married about three years ago. And and the you know COVID, and we had to keep postponing this thing. So we finally were able to go past August. And I just didn't realize how many like I thought I'd go sit down at these restaurants and be like pasta. And that was mm-hmm. just my assumption. And it was actually pizza. Oh like, yeah. Every single place you could get pizza. It didn't matter what the th- pizza, 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 pizza. And it was, you know, we you kind of just got overkill at the end of it. But it just was like, oh, this is such a way of life here. Yeah, that is like their their claim to fame, you know, is that yeah. we made the pizza. Yeah, we made the pizza. And it's like this little bread. And they put these little toppings. And I mean, they were good, it, you know. Traditional pizza is so far from what we here in America call pizza. It's almost yeah. like authentic Mexican food versus sure. the Tex-Mex we've all become accustomed <laughs> to. That's is, true. Uh, you know, if you we were doing Neapolitan pizza for a while yeah. and didn't get a good reception out of uh, the general public. Sure, interesting. Okay, all right. So they say this other place took three to four minutes. Okay, yeah. and then we get to the final part of it, or there's two more sentences. They got it. They got to put a little <laughs> jab in, just to, you know, because their experience already, or you didn't already get this from them that they didn't enjoy it. They yeah. will not, capital not, be a return customer. Okay, well, well, thanks. You know, thanks, Gray. I yeah. mean, did that. At that point, are you already like, are you shocked by that response? Well, you know, that far into a review, it's kind of like, uh, yeah, we're, we've already lost this one. We'll have to, you know, regroup, uh, mm-hmm. reform our lines and try to not sure. make, you know, the next uh, 10 people mad, you know, yeah. the next day and stuff. Yeah. I, I've always felt like that a, a line like that just makes them feel better. It's not communicating anything to the owner. Yeah. They've already said all the stuff that they didn't like. 
and then just let you know, oh, I'm not going to return. Well, it's yeah. like, well, I'm pretty sure you're not going to return. Yeah, you know, that was already, you already know where you're going to go. You yeah, know? yeah. But my, my favorite two are, we will not be returned, or they say, I will not tell anybody to go here. Yeah, Those well, are always the interesting ones. I, I would almost rather that, because there are some people that, you know, everyone in your, your work life, there's somebody in your office that just gripes all the time. Yeah. They didn't have a good... They didn't gripe about something last weekend. They didn't yeah. go out. They didn't do anything fun. Yeah. And so I I would vehemently ask those people to not recommend us. Sure. You know? And yeah. I don't want to uh, pick and choose them. But if they're going to just come in and find all the things wrong with a place, you yeah. know. Yeah. Go. Um, stick with the Pizza Huts. Go to Pizza Hut. They're there. They're, you'll find one. Um, all right. And then the final line, because if all these other stuff wasn't enough, they asked to say, the pizza was just average and wasn't even that good. So it, it, it kind of contradict like the pizza was just average. So that tells me good, not great. Like it, hey. it's just good. It's average. But they say, but it wasn't even that good. So is it not average? Yeah, no, good. I don't know. You know, it, I guess they were expecting more, but the, I guess they didn't get bad. So for, it wasn't <laughs> for a one star review. We didn't get <laughs> bad pizza, too. So I feel like based on that, it should have been a two star review. Yeah, yeah. Give me, maybe, some, give me a break. Here. Yeah, give me a break. Come on. Two or three star. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I wish and I don't know if this matters, but I would have loved to know if this was a takeout. Or eat there. Dine in, yeah. Yeah, because there's a difference in that, right? Yeah, the, and the, some of the best reviews or information we've gotten has is, been a Facebook message or a text message on my phone or, or something, you know, somebody saying, hey, this happened and uh, on this day, and I can I can check, like, right then. I, I do not keep up with my Google reviews and Yelp yeah. reviews because it's yeah. uh, so many people complain on there that I just kind of keep my eyes closed and look yeah. at it every couple months, and then... Yep. Whew, we're, we're still doing good. No, okay, that, we're still doing good. Caleb, that's, that's like spot on, man. I think that's, I think that speaks to this like greater, um, not problem, but reviews in general. You're, yeah. you're not the first business it's owner to say that. Popularity contest. It is. Well, it's know. hard to determine are these, and, and maybe we'll segue into this transition, but it's hard to determine are these reviews something that you have to pay attention to, to fix your business, or are they just these weird anomalies with, I don't know, look with at like you. a, with look like at, a Karen, you know, look at McDonald's, look at all these fast food joints that are, uh, sure. you know, uh, making a million dollars a store or grossing mm -hmm. a million dollars a store. Yeah. They have horrible reviews horrible online. Reviews. They're yeah. three star, two star reviews, but sure. nobody Googles Taco Bell before you go <laughs> at two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you, you're going to go get that awful <laughs> burrito and regret it in the morning. You know, you're going to be on this the toilet. This should be a public service yeah. announcement. <laughs> Stop going to Taco Bell at two in the morning. They're trying to get us. Self inflicting the <laughs> self inflicting yeah. wounds. Um, uh, well, I don't know how, how do we go in in and then yeah. in society in the future with reviews. Yeah, some of them are good, some of them are bad. I don't know if this person, if they leave a bunch of negative reviews, I do not take your yeah. review into consideration. Sure, because it's you're just. I mean, I have one guy that complained uh, complained about a pothole at a gas station. Mm. Gave it a one star review, but that gas station is not gonna. No. It's not going to affect that gas station's business. No, no, it's not at all. I need gas. They're going to pull and get gas. Yeah, the convenience store. Yeah, yeah. You can get gas, get whatever they need. Yeah, yeah. So well, I don't know what we do. Okay, so then I, I mean, and maybe you just answer this, but so we like to we like to talk about how this maybe would affect the future. So you you read this review by Gray, talking about how long it's taking. There was one person working, uh, average, not great, but blah blah blah. Do, do, do you read this and say, okay, we need to change something, or do you? And, and like you just said, Caleb, you'll like look and see if they've left a bunch of one stars. Mm -hmm. You're not going to probably do much about it, but does this affect anything or well, did it, this one? So this review probably stings so bad because I would assume that there was only one person, maybe two people working down there. Sure. We were understaffed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, we're being overrun because people are, are going out to eat. They are. And going out yeah. to have fun and stuff, but mm -hmm. we didn't have people to, to work. Yeah. So. Uh, Which finding staff right now we have, is such a problem. Oh, I have changed my whole management style. I encourage yeah. my people to goof off on their phone. Yeah. My staff, sure. I tell them here is the minimum standard. You know, you got to clean, mm -hmm. you got to prep, yep. you got to do the food. Yep. And then as soon as you get all your stuff done, yeah, sit down yeah. in the back, play on your phone. Sure. Goof off, you know, yeah. cause it's a reward. I'm not going to have you out there mopping the parking lot just because yeah. I pay you per hour and I'm the boss and you're the, sure. The person. Yeah. Uh, I like that. I'm trying to do that just to be different. Cause no, it's good. Everywhere else, everyone's, you know, getting their pay up to yeah. what we're paying now. Sure. So I got to be different. Yeah. No, Caleb, I love that, man. I, yeah. I think that's, you're, you're thinking outside the box a little bit and actually what the, uh, I don't say new generation of employees, but this, this kind of new era in my opinion, I think they would rather have more kind of flexibility and freedom within the job than just like, Hey, let me just pay you 
16 bucks an hour yeah, and you'll be my little personal whatever i want you mm-hmm. to do person they're not yeah. going to show up no and they're not you're not going to keep a good employee there. i am totally That's okay good. with being burned you know one out of 10 times or one out of five times by somebody who's going to abuse that type of management mm-hmm. to treat those three sure. or four or nine other people like they are human beings yeah, yeah. they have a, a, a spouse or a mom or mm-hmm. a life outside of work yeah you know, sure at a pizza joint okay dude i like that i yeah. like that okay cool cool um well, yeah, I mean, so reading this, that that was the takeaway. You're trying to change change the management style, which I think it, yeah. everybody should be doing that. Yeah, we we have uh, we have definitely turned some things around, and this is not the only one that you know was a, a long wait type thing. Sure, I just I wish we could do things faster, yeah. so that yeah. uh, it wouldn't be heck on my staff, and it would be better for the customers. Yeah, stuff. well, f- quality perspective, the, your pizzas are amazing. Thank like you. seriously, I I don't. And again, this is just it's all personal preference. I don't mind waiting 25, 30 minutes. Like I, especially if I'm there and I'm at the restaurant and I'm like experiencing it, I, I get it. If, if I'm running late somewhere and I'm picking this up to go, it's not yeah. your fault. It's my fault. But I'm like, come on, come on. I know some restaurants that have got more in beer sales because it took longer to get their pizzas <laughs> out. Strategy. So, so, Interesting. Yeah. They're like, yeah, it's like a, a upsell of just true. time. That's true. Hmm, interesting. We're not, that's a, not our target business though. We're trying to get people in and out kind of yeah. this. We're doing a new lunch special. And cool. Stuff. Uh, cool. Cool. So. Cool. Well, I, I love that, man. Um, all right, Caleb, final thoughts. We'll end on this. So I don't know if I want to be gray, but I'll be gray here. I am going to, I'm gray McCown. I agree. Okay. Okay. Gray. I'm sitting here. What, if you had one thing to say to me in, in reference to the review, yeah. what, what would be something you would say to gray? Oh, uh, you know, I don't apologize. I'm sorry, gray. That sure. We, uh, it's obvious that we, we screwed it up that night. Um, I thank you for bringing it to my attention. Please, you know, uh, send us a message on Facebook or something and I can handle it privately. Uh, we were kind of understaffed. We've done some changes. We've, we've hired more people. We're paying more an hour. We're doing uh, some new lunch specials to try and get stuff in and out faster. We'd love to have your business again. Give us another shot, please. Cool. That was nice. Yeah. That'd be a good thing. Okay. If I'm gray, I'm like totally doing that. You know. And then maybe I'll take my review down. Maybe. You oh know? yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah. I know that's always a weird, it's always a weird conversation to have. I know. You know, the review things. I just, the review things. I don't know if I don't leave good. I mean, I guess I'm going to leave this podcast and go leave you a good review. I guess. <laughs> oh, I feel, there you go. I feel kind of obligated. Spotify, leave a little five star there. Uh-huh, I like that. There. I like that. Okay. Well, cool. Well, Caleb, it was a pleasure having you. Love the pizza. Love the history and everything y'all been doing. The the food truck, the brick and mortar. I'm excited to see where this goes, man. Awesome, man. Thanks for having cool. me. Cool. Thanks. This has been a Rogue Media Podcast.